Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. This episode is about office rubber. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Office rubber bands is probably the easiest rubber that you can find anywhere. I mean, this really big bag uh, is available for cheap on Amazon. And those are, I'm not sure how many thousands of rubber rings are in there. But of course, you can get them pretty much in any supermarket, do-it-yourself market, uh, hardware store. I think this type is most common. It is nine centimeters in relaxed length. And like with most rubber products, you can stretch it to about factor five. So you can stretch this to about 45 centimeters and then you kind of hit the wall and then it's getting really tough. And of course, if you keep uh, stretching, then at some point it will tear like that. The question is, is it any good in a shit hit the fan situation? So can this be used like as a makeshift weapon? Well, we all know the old trick with this kind of uh, paper projectile that you can use like this. I think we all remember this from our school days, don't we? Bing! Oh, almost hit. <laughs> now that was pretty weak, but you can maximize the power by tying four bands to each other like so. And then it gives you more resistance, but it also gives you a longer stretch. So longer acceleration. And of course, I also used a little bit heavier paper projectile. Yeah, not so accurate and also not very powerful. I measured the draw resistance and if you pull this out to a safe uh, 24 centimeters, so it's not so far stretched, then you will get about 280 grams of a draw force. And if you stretch it out to the max, like to the full, full 45 centimeters, you get about 500 grams. But then if you do this uh, multiple times, at some point it will break. So it is a lot safer to only stretch it out to about 24 centimeters when you want to use it as a propellant for some serious objects. And this is a serious object. I tied a total of 60 of these bands to my Rambone and actually clamped them in, which is really easy because of the uh, really nice uh, uh, you know, clamp system that the Rambone has. And I made a full band set just by using these rubber bands. Now I could also have braided them somehow together, but my experience is that if you do this, then friction on rubber on rubber is so high that at some point the bands will break. So I'm using some string to tie them together loosely. Loosely is good because it means that the bands can readjust. Otherwise, you would overstretch parts of them and then they would break. So this makes sure that it's uh, that it's stretched very evenly. And now this is a full slingshot. I mean, I, it can shoot, uh, for example, paintballs. Bang! <laughs> but it can also shoot steel balls, of course, like this. Now it's getting serious. Note that I shot at it at an angle so that the ricochet wouldn't hit me on the head, if you know what I'm saying. Now this is now a serious slingshot. I mean, it doesn't have the power of a Thera band gold band set, but it is definitely a lot better than nothing. And I certainly don't want to be hit by one of these steel boards. <laughs> But of course, in a post-apocalyptic scenario, one needs to be able to hunt with this. And hunting would probably work with these rubber bands for a very, very small game. I don't know, uh, really maybe like squirrels or something. But of course, if you want to hunt something serious, then you need a hunting bolt and you need to shoot it with some force, like with a crossbow. Now, these are bolts that we are selling on the Slingshot Channel store now. Uh, they're actually made for the Cobra R9 crossbow. And as you can see, they are now, other than the originals, they are now uh, having a full insert, so you can exchange the tips. And this is a really nice, very sharp broadhead. It's seen some use, so this can be used over and over. Three of them cost about 30 euros, and they're carbon fiber, of course. Very nice. Now, can we make a crossbow that is using office rubber bands as a propellant and achieve serious power? I'm sure we can. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet the Office Band 90-pound crossbow. 
Let me show you its features. So as you see, it's using plenty of these rubber bands. Actually, those are 80 bands per side. And because they are only stretched to 24 centimeters, um, the draw weight is about 90 pounds. So this has the same draw weight as the original Cobra R9 that is sold for these uh, volts here. Yes, there are now stronger uh, throwing arms for the Cobra R9, but this is, is really already quite tough. And as you see, there are some features on it. First of all, I already mounted a Picatinny rail, a short one, for a red dot side. This actually is done to clamp in the bolt so that it doesn't drop out when you uh, point the weapon downwards. And it has a plate because this is meant to be cocked against your chest or belly or whatever. So you can cock it like this. Okay. And now, as you see, the bands are stretched to 24 centimeters. Now I can muzzle load my projectile, like so. And now it's clamped in and it can't fall out again. So now it's ready to be shot. Like so. <laughs> this doesn't have an aiming system yet, but it works quite well. If you pull the trigger here, you can see that the sear actually releases the string. Very easy technology, but it works. Again, as you see, the rubber bands are not supposed to touch anything in cocked condition. Therefore, they are completely attached with the paracord. And I don't use the rubber bands to tie themselves to each other. Bang! <laughs> does this have enough power to be a weapon? I think it does. I shoot it into the broadside of my barn and let you be the judge. Phew, not bad. So, would this work any better with a Thera band gold or something as a propellant? Absolutely. But the question is, would you have access to Thera band gold and all the tools in an SHTF scenario? Probably not, but office rubber you can find anywhere. And uh, I hope that you like this because that's it for today, unless you want to visit my Patreon and leave me a tip, link down below. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>